everyone, so you've got your Oxford interview tomorrow, you're absolutely panicking, you're frantically reading papers, you have no idea what to do, you're watching these videos, stop worrying and watch this video, this is what they're going to ask you tomorrow. This is the video for master's students, if you're going to do a PhD interview tomorrow, then watch this video here instead. So the, the main thing uh, when it comes to master's interviews is they want to know that you are actually interested in this master's, you're not just doing it because you have no idea what to do, they want to know that you know what's going to happen in this master's and you've read um, properly the description, the courses they're going to offer. They want to know that you haven't just looked at the title of this master's like, oh, master's in history. And then just because you've done an undergrad in history, you've decided to apply. No, they want to see that you've actually looked at this uh, department, the faculty, etc. in more detail. You have solid reasons to actually apply to this master's. It's not an arbitrary random application. It's not out of a moment of desperation of, I have no idea what to do, let's just apply to this master's. No, that is not um, what they like. So first thing they'll probably ask you is, so tell us about yourself or why are you applying to this degree? So when they say tell us about yourself, they want to know about your educational background. Uh, you can add a bit of work experience in there as well, but mainly you need to show them that your educational background is actually relevant to the degree you're applying to. So I'm going to use history as an example. Um, and you can say, you know, I did this, this, this degree, and which is why I'm ready for this um, course. Show enthusiasm, show a bit of excitement, say things like, so while I was doing my degree, I really enjoyed this module and I realized that I actually want to really explore this topic further and I actually want to do more research in this and which is why uh, I'm applying to this course. You can relate the courses to either your background experience that, you know, you, you know these things and you want to delve into them deeper and the master's will be an opportunity to do that. You can link it to specific skills. You can, you know, if there is a module which is teaching you, you know, specific finance uh, or economic skills um, that you want to learn, then tie it to that. You can tie it to your career goals, like, okay, this is, you know, I want to do a PhD later or I want to become a scientist, so that's why I'm doing this master's. You can talk about it in terms of interests. You can also bring more specific things like um, at Oxford, actually, there is a professor who works on this field and I would be really keen to work with him uh, or her um, on this topic and the master's will be an opportunity for me to do that. Um, you can also say how this master's prepares you for um, future work and you can say things like, you know, I really enjoy history, I want to become a historian and so um, this master's will allow me to gain the skills that will help me uh, with my career goals. So that's how you answer this question. Then they'll probably ask you a bit about your CV. So for example, if you've done your dissertation on something, they will probably ask you questions on that to see how you can talk about it. So make sure you go over what you've done and you are able to talk about it clearly. So for example, they might look at your CV and, and they might say, um, so I was really intrigued about your research project on the 1911 revolution. So t tell me about that. What, uh, what did you actually do and um, what did you conclude? So when they ask questions like this, you have to make sure you're, you're paying attention to the question. So what, you, what did you do? So they want to know, um, you know, you can answer this like, I um, was working on this um, during my undergraduate, I came across this 1911 revolution and I really wanted to delve in it a bit deeper and so I decided to do my dissertation in that and show that it was interesting and exciting. Um, things like um, so it was really I really enjoyed the process I um, looked at uh, different sources they want to know that you actually did the work so talk about your field talk about um, what you show during this process and in your research also show your conclusion so ended by so for example I include uh, I concluded that there wasn't much known about this field and in fact a lot of our primary uh, resources uh, cannot be uh, verified or cannot be trusted or something like that, you know, just like your, your main conclusions. Then they might ask you, so what methodology did you actually use for your research? So again, you know, you talk about your research, because if you think about it, a master's is a postgraduate degree. Um, there's a taught component and there's a research component. They want to sh know that you're actually interested in this topic. So show your interest, show your knowledge, make sure that you talk about specifics. These are people that will know the details, so talk to them about it, make it into a discussion 
uh, about your field. Then they might ask you more specific questions about your CV. So for example, they say, oh, so you did a little work experience um, and you did this independent learning in psychology as well. So do you think you would be able to bring that um, to your history degree? And if so, what do you think that has taught you that you'll be able to bring to this master's? Again, you talk about your experience, you talk about what you learned, um, and you show them that you are um, thinking about the skills. So for example, you know, you can say a lot of history has to do with uh, social psychology and understanding why people behave the way they behave. And also I'm really interested in um, understanding how um, psychology can actually be used to rewrite history because uh, a lot of people have very strong feelings and emotions about um, different historical occurrences or narratives and that's why I think psychology comes into that so I'll be able to uh, bring my experience and knowledge from that field and bring that into history. Then they might ask you, so what, what makes you well suited to this program? Here you want to show them that you are a good student, a good learner, um, that you have the skills that will be required. So say things like, so I'm really interested in this project. That is one thing that is important, uh, but not just that. I feel like I have the relevant background knowledge and the experience. For example, my undergraduate uh, degree and dissertation was in history, uh, which makes me more suited to, um, to doing further study in history. I'm using history as an example, by the way. I'm not even a historian, so... You know, these are example uh, example sentences. Um, then you want to talk about um, your experience and your skills. So things like, so during my undergraduate, I was able to, um, through my assignments, I was able to learn those research skills. I was able to uh, critically analyze um, sources and I was able to um, research and find different sources and also weigh and balance the historical accuracy of things. And uh, I think one thing I really learned and really enjoyed as well during my undergraduate uh, is um, writing. And I think during my master's, I will have more opportunities to actually polish these skills. And um, I think these skills that I already have make me very well suited to this program. And they might ask you a few like philosophical kind of questions or a bit more challenging things like, so what do you think makes a good researcher? Or what do you think makes a good historian and again you know you just you just talk to them you just um tell them what you think honestly there's no right or wrong answer for example i was doing a mock interview with someone and i really really liked their answer and i thought um i asked them why are you doing history do you, do you want to do this further do you uh plan on becoming a historian and their answer was just excellent and and this person said you know i um I'm just keen on exploring uh, what I like and what I'm interested in and at the moment I'm really really passionate about history and I really want to gain some skills um, and that is what this master is going to allow me to do. I might not actually become a historian in the future, I'm not sure about that, um, but for now this is something I'm really passionate about and I'm really interested in. Um, and that's why I'm doing this master. So again, you see how there's no right or wrong answer. You don't have to have very clear plans uh, about your future career, um, but you just need to show them that you really want to do this degree and you have to show them why. Um, and if your reasons are, you know, academic and uh, personal development, growing as a researcher, learning more, fulfilling your curiosity, all of those are very good reasons to do a degree um, that is a postgraduate master's. So if this uh, master's has a research component, which most likely they will, uh, they might ask you things like, you know, this master's has quite a large uh, research component and uh, there's an extended thesis. So are there any particular topics that you're interested in or any projects that you would like to do? So again, this is a chance for you to show them your particular research interests. So look at um, the faculty, think about your research interests, think about what you've enjoyed during your undergraduate degree. Um, and so you can say things like, I um, uh, during my undergraduate, I came across this topic and I was really, really interested in, and I did a dissertation in this, or I wasn't able to do a dissertation in this because it wasn't um, offered and I would really like to explore this further. So this is a topic I'm really interested in. Another potential topic, is that gonna go five times? BRB.
Right, I'm back. So um, you can also say um, at Oxford or at this university, there's this faculty member and they work on this and I have been reading their work and I'm really, really intrigued. Um, and they would be a perfect supervisor, which is one of the reasons I chose uh, this university and this degree, because you know this is a topic I'm really interested in. Um, if you're doing a statistics or a business master's, and you are going to have a chance to work with another company um, and there's that kind of external project offered which is not so much research but actually an internship then make sure you've thought about you know what you're interested in what company you'd like to work on what kind of projects you um, enjoy and what skills you'll be able to gain from that so so to say things like um, you know this particular company will be really exciting to work with because I'm really, really interested in this. And also they use these kinds of tools and I think that's really important in current businesses. Um, and also in terms of my research uh, and career goals, uh, this is something I um, am interested in doing. So again, you know, just, just tie everything together. So the skills you have, your background, what you're interested in right now versus what you want to do in the future, whether that is during the masters or after the masters so it's really you know these are the kind of questions they're going to ask you um if you can talk about your research interests and show that you have the skills experience and interest um, and you've thought about it a little bit and you're clear on your goals you're clear on what you, what it is that you want to do then you'll be accepted so um i hope this short video helped and just go think about these questions in a lot of detail and tomorrow when you give your interview, make sure you show them that you have got the knowledge, the skills and the interest. So these three things are going to get you in and I wish you the best of luck. Bye. And if you would like me to do a mock interview with you and give you feedback on your answers, then please do um, check out the description for a Fiverr link and I'd be really happy to do mock interviews with you.